Hey guys, <laughs> it's so good to be with you this morning. I am Nasiri Williams, used to be one of Oxygen Life's elders and last week got sent out to plant a church here in London, UK. And I will be encouraging you this week. And I've been encouraging, well, this is day number two. And I, uh, yesterday, today and tomorrow, I'll be encouraging from John chapter 21. It's a conversation between Jesus and Peter. And I wanna just kind of reflect from this conversation. So what happened in this conversation was, Jesus tells Peter uh, how he's gonna suffer, how he's gonna die. And it's actually kind of the, the cross that Peter's gonna bear, which is a hard cross actually. And Peter just freaks out. And his first response is, what about John? How's he gonna die? And Jesus' response is quite beautiful. He, he says, don't compare yourself with John. And obviously I'm paraphrasing. Don't compare yourself with John, actually, all that matters is you must follow me and it's it's a beautiful invitation and actually i've been just kind of meditating and reflecting on those words you follow me and this morning i actually want to just focus on that word and say to you actually jesus is calling you and he's saying you follow me and actually this morning the encouragement is you follow me his call is an expression of his grace to you how, how would you say <laughs> good question i'm glad you asked it now i want to go back to second samuel verse six i'm not going to read it but i'm going to tell the story they're transporting the ark of the covenant to jerusalem and it hits a rock and the the, the the wagon starts shaking and the ark is about to fall and this guy called Uzzah, who had great intentions and he he wanted to serve god and how did he serve god he wanted to make sure the ark doesn't touch the ground so he he, he feared god he he honored the ark and so he reaches out his hand and he and he covers or he holds up the ark and it's amazing god it says that god gets angry and he breaks out against Uzzah and kills him this is actually quite mind-blowing it actually blew david's mind and he, how, how could this happen and you know the the interesting thing is that you know we are broken people we have all fallen short therefore we can't participate in holy things we can't do these holy godly things like in ourselves we we weren't allowed to approach god and even as Uzo approached god he gets killed he tried to serve god he gets killed we can't as, as, as broken human beings. But it's amazing. By God's grace, God has made a way for us to do and participate in these holy things. And actually, this is what we see in Jesus' call. He's going, the way has been made open. You follow me. It's an expression of God's grace that we can experience such favor that before us broken uh, human beings that deserved hell, that's what we deserve. That's We deserve to be punished and suffer for eternity. But something's changed because Jesus took his cross and he carried his cross for us and he paid for our sins and he made a way for us to accept his invitation. Sorry, this door's opening. To, to accept his invitation to follow him. This is beautiful. And so he can say to us, you this morning as you're going to work as you as you're raising your kid no matter what your cross looks like and 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 it's amazing peter when when jesus uh invited him into this invitation peter responded by going this is hard what about john what's he gonna do let us not compare ourselves with others as we hear that 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 invitation from jesus no matter what our cross looks like today maybe god is telling you to go maybe god is saying to you be generous and give all your wealth or whatever he's calling you to do or he's saying play with your children whatever he's calling you to do today as we hear his call don't compare yourself or compare other people's crosses but actually pause and consider oh my goodness as a broken human being as a fallen short human being he's made a way for me to do holy things and i can build God's kingdom, which actually would have been impossible before. I couldn't approach this God of light. This God, it says in script in the scriptures, this God of an unapproach, unapproachable light. And now I can approach him and do things with him. So when you hear his call to pick up your cross and follow him, as Jesus says, You follow him, follow me, you follow me. Hear it today and hear his grace. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you, God, that you have shown us such grace and you've called us in such a wonderful way. Jesus. We thank you that you favor us and you've made a way for us to do these beautiful things with you, these miraculous things with you. And we want to live in this adventure. We love you.
Amen. Hope you have a great day.